Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a live uh, daily market outlook from Windsor Brokers uh, for today, Friday, 27th of July, 2012. <clears throat> Pardon the last uh, day of the week uh, with the, a strong uh, risk appetite uh, back in the markets following yesterday's comments of uh, ECB President Mario Draghi that sent basically a strong uh, signal that uh, ECB will act and uh, prevent uh, a further uh, slide of the Eurozone that was uh, sparked by initial crisis in uh, Portugal and Ireland and uh, spread through Greece and uh, currently now in, uh, currently in Spain and Italy. European uh, Central Bank President has said, pledged on uh, his uh, comments yesterday to do whatever was necessary, of course within the ingredients and the limits of the Central Bank to protect the, the Eurozone from collapse sending a so strong signal that inflated the Spanish and Italian uh, uh, borrowing uh, costs were in its, in, at their uh, highs. Fears uh, about the Eurozone future are intensifying uh, with Spain and Italy now facing uh, a pressure on financial markets and Greece uh, holding uh, crunch meetings with its uh, international lenders having failed uh, to keep its uh, repair uh, plans on track and uh, Based on this, it's uh, basically raising uh, fresh questions uh, about its uh, place in the currency block. As we mentioned yesterday in our uh, comments, uh, actually the, now the high risk is seen on the, uh, actually the price, the story is intensifying again. The one that was circulating up approximately a month or so ago about Greece uh, possibly leaving the block as uh, Troika is uh, still negotiating with the uh, Greek officials and uh, yet uh, no... Uh, firm deal uh, was uh, found about uh, uh, implementing and uh, enforcing the austerity plan uh, with the need for urgent action uh, became becoming uh, increasingly apparent. The ECB appears to be uh, preparing up uh, to flex its uh, muscles, uh, something Madrid and Rome have been uh, seeking uh, for months. Uh, as Draghi said, within our mandate the ECB is ready to do whatever it takes to preserve uh, the euro and believe me, it will be enough. Uh, this, this comment uh, basically sparked yesterday's strong uh, rally on Euro sterling, uh, also uh, supported uh, commodities uh, with the gold now holding above uh, 1600 our initial uh, uh, barrier and the crude oil uh, above uh, $90 per barrel. That uh, gives uh, some uh, more positive uh, uh, signals uh, to the market. Uh, following a quiet overnight session, Euro is uh, hovering around the 122.90 level uh, at the beginning of the European session uh, with the sterling holding uh, just uh, below 157 handle and the dollar yen still being within its uh, range of uh, 78, 78.45 uh, uh, moving uh, in a sideways mode. Uh, dollar Swiss is uh, uh, close to the lower boundaries and the strong uh, support that has already been tested uh, in yesterday's uh, fall 97.45 zone is the higher platform and the uh, if uh, the pair breaks uh, below this level, could be quite uh, risky for further retracement uh, that will uh, completely sideline the short-term uh, bulls that uh, re resulted in uh, the latest gains that approached uh, the parity level. Uh, from uh, today's uh, calendar, uh, not uh, much uh, to be seen. The Swiss uh, COF economic uh, barometer has already been released. Uh, for some reason, I don't have uh, the update. Uh, more, more important uh, now, this is uh, uh, the first time, basically, we're putting uh, the uh, not uh, the main uh, countries uh, in the calendar. Uh, Spanish, uh, very significant unemployment rate uh, <clears throat> for the second quarter. Uh, again, it has been released, but uh, for some reason, not updated. 24.7 was the forecast. Uh, versus 24.4 percent unemployment, uh, which is uh, quite a big reason for uh, panic. Uh, more important are uh, GDPs from uh, US uh, due at 1230 GMT. Uh, quarterly for second quarter <clears throat> is expected to dip to 1.5 percent compared to 1.9 percent of the first quarter, while the uh, GDP price index for the second quarter also expected lower at uh, 1.6 percent compared to uh, 2 percent. That uh, gives a more clear picture of uh, overall uh, world markets uh, uh, going uh, down as uh, Chinese uh, GDP released a few days ago also showed significant uh, drop uh, in the gross domestic uh, product of the leading uh, countries in the world. And finally, University of Michigan uh, late in the afternoon at 13.55 uh, uh, 
uh, GMT uh, consumer sentiment is uh, forecasted to stay unchanged at 72 uh, while uh, inflation uh, we don't have expectation for today 3% was the uh, previous release and uh, not to, to waste our time uh, we're going to go now to the technical uh, outlook before we move to our questions and answers uh, session the regular one that comes at uh, the end of uh, the presentation uh, starting uh, with euro as always uh, a quite significant rally seen yesterday of uh, uh, 124 two days ago a fresh low and a higher low at uh, 121.18 basically the, the, the gains uh, accelerated after uh, breaking above uh, initial barrier at uh, 121.43.68 and uh, surged to levels uh, above 123.00 uh, recall we have a stronger barrier at uh, 123.00 a 0030 zone uh, what is the round figure resistance and the previous peak uh, uh, posted on uh, uh, 10th of uh, July 2012 that uh, basically is seen as a break point in the short term and clear break here this is also reinforced by descending uh, the bear trend line of uh, 132.82 through 127.41 uh, currently standing at uh, 123.33 so uh, quite strong barrier at this uh, level uh, needs to be cleared in order to confirm the bottom at uh, 124.42 and the uh, open way for stronger retracement of uh, the latest down leg from uh, 126.91 to 120.42 any failure uh, to break here might uh, risk uh, reversal uh, with the possible revisit of uh, 122 uh, zone uh, not ruled out in case of uh, upside failure uh, clear break above uh, 123 30 40 let's say the barrier uh, level opens 50% uh, retracement at uh, 123 67 and then uh, around figure resistance at uh, 124 00 hourly studies are uh, uh, in the positive territory but uh, quite overextended and uh, already moving in the overbought uh, zone that uh, might be signal for us uh, Stochastic is already moving uh, lower. That might be a signal of uh, a further hesitating uh, of the pair's action towards the upside and possible uh, reversal, while the more optimistic is uh, still uh, for our uh, chart uh, where the indicators uh, are holding well in the positive territory and uh, still seeing room for a further extension higher. Overall picture on the daily chart is uh, a slightly improving, pointing higher, but uh, again, a break above minimum uh, 123. Uh, 33 previous uh, high and the uh, trend line resistance is uh, required to uh, confirm the near-term bullish uh, stance and open way for a stronger retracement uh, as uh, the pair remains in the strong uh, downtrend uh, with the 120.42 seen so far ahead of our uh, downside target and the uh, uh, key psychological uh, support at uh, 120.00 that uh, still remains in play on the larger picture as uh, bears are still uh, uh, firmly in play and the current uh, bounce is so far seen uh, uh, just as correction uh, with the another key level seen at around the 127 zone where uh, break of which is uh, required to turn the focus uh, higher on the larger uh, picture of uh, euro dollar the similar picture is uh, on the cable as it uh, bounced off a uh, dangerous zone uh, from 154.69 yesterday's low regaining a 157 level and bouncing to 157.22 uh, so far coming closer to our key upside the barrier at 157.50 uh, 200 days moving average and 157.76 uh, uh, 20th of uh, June peak uh, bouncing of a very dangerous zone and uh, uh, avoiding uh, for now further extension lower and possible test of uh, uh, downside uh, break point at uh, 154.00 before this uh, uh, there is a trend line support at uh, 154.39 uh, currently the pair is uh, firmly back uh, to its uh, one month uh, range uh, defined by 154 on the downside and uh, approximately 157.50 on the upside but uh, uh, short term tone has uh, turned uh, toward the up upper levels uh, with the possibility of uh, revisiting 157.50 seen uh, more likely at this point however uh, overextended the conditions on the hourly chart that uh, they would indicators already started to point lower and the uh, emerging out of the overbought uh, zone see potential of uh, a further co corrective consolidative action as the mild uh, consolidation seen of yesterday's uh, fresh peak at 120 pardon 157.22 so far found the ground at uh, 156.65 uh, with further uh, retracement uh, 
according to the current uh, structure of the hourly chart and uh, not ruled out at this point. Uh, risk would be seen on break uh, on immediate of immediate support at 156.65. That is reinforced by ascending a uh, 20 days exponential uh, moving average. Uh, uh, will open uh, Fibonacci support 38.2% uh, at 156.25 uh, uh, and another uh, strong uh, level at uh, 156.00 psychological support uh, near 50% retracement and uh, uh, 55 days uh, exponential moving average. Uh, basically loss of uh, this level would be quite risky for the short term uh, uh, structure at, as it might uh, uh, turn uh, focus uh, more towards the downside and uh, uh, possibly extend the uh, uh, towards 155, that is another uh, break point, uh, loss of which is uh, expected again to bring the bears uh, fully in play and uh, re refocus uh, critical uh, 154 uh, zero, zero support. Uh, ideally reversal in any case of uh, breaking uh, below 156.65, ideal reversal uh, should be seen somewhere above uh, 156 uh, uh, support. That will keep the short term uh, bulls in play for possible attack uh, at the upside barriers. Uh, and the range top at uh, 157.50 and uh, 157.76, a uh, break of which uh, to trigger a fresh uh, face uh, higher and signal break of <clears throat> break above the one month uh, uh, range uh, top at uh, 157.50.76 zone. The dollar yen uh, remains within its uh, uh, range uh, trade uh, moving in the sideways mode in past uh, couple of uh, days with the downside uh, being so far protected at uh, 7800 and overnight and this morning action uh, attempting at the upper uh, boundaries of the 7800 7845 uh, uh, range is still uh, unable to break uh, higher uh, positive to, to neutral uh, situation is seen on the one hour chart uh, studies uh, while four hour ones are pointing uh, higher but uh, uh, seems to be lacking uh, momentum for uh, any significant uh, move higher. Uh, we need to see break above 78.45 and 78.50 where it's uh, descending 55 days exponential moving average in order to uh, signal uh, some uh, stronger reaction higher. Uh, intermediate the in uh, the interim uh, pardon the resistance at 38.2% well, Fibonacci retracement at uh, 78.76 would be seen as the next in case of clear break above uh, 78.45. 50 ahead of uh, a more significant test 79.00 that marks 50% uh, retracement of uh, 80.09 to uh, 77.93 descent uh, where is also the 200 days uh, uh, moving average and uh, we need to see break above uh, this level this level in order to improve the short-term structure and uh, possibly refocus uh, the other significant barrier at uh, 8000. Uh, on the opposite uh, alternative uh, scenario sees uh, failure under uh, 7900 that uh, uh, would uh, keep the pair within the range while loss of uh, 78 uh, support uh, uh, would be a signal of continuation of the downtrend from 8417 yearly peak and turn the focus uh, towards the key uh, downside the level and the short term support at the 77.65 low of 1st of uh, June 2012. And uh, the, la the last uh, major pair uh, uh, is currently at the back foot after a uh, reversal from uh, two days ago, uh, three days ago, pardon, uh, high at 99.70 uh, accelerated losses uh, on a break uh, below the initial uh, uh, support and break point at uh, 987060 uh, uh, dipping so far to 9740 uh, to slightly dent the higher platform and the very important support at uh, 9745 as uh, near term studies uh, are firmly bearish uh, and the uh, overextended conditions uh, uh, for now see potential of some uh, corrective action before uh, uh, bears uh, take uh, control again and they uh, look for possible extension uh, lower as uh, the four hour uh, chart uh, uh, picture still uh, shows uh, a firmly bearish uh, structure and the uh, break below 97.40 to open a 97.16 50 percent retracement and uh, 97.00 as a round figure support uh, loss of which uh, would be uh, quite risky for the short term structure as it will open 61.8 percent retracement at 1096 uh, uh, 55 and uh, completely sideline uh, uh, short term uh, bulls. Upside uh, action uh, sees uh, good barriers at uh, 98 uh, 
60, 70, and the more significant uh, 99, uh, 99, 10 zone, the lower top of uh, yesterday, and the only break above uh, this level uh, would uh, turn the uh, focus again higher and uh, signal the higher low at the lows posted uh, yesterday at 97.40. Otherwise, uh, a quite high risk is seen on the of uh, leaving the lower top uh, in the area below 99.00, 98.70. Uh, for a possible further uh, bearish continuation and test of uh, 9716, 9700 seen as the next uh, downside the targets. As said, uh, a broader uh, uh, action in the market uh, triggered by a fresh uh, uh, risk on uh, mode uh, pushed the gold uh, significantly higher as it uh, uh, regained its uh, important barrier at 16.00 now heading towards the next uh, resistance at 16.24 with 16.21 uh, seen so far averting uh, immediate uh, downside risk and uh, attempting at the upper uh, boundaries of the range from the beginning of uh, June so we're talking about one and a half month uh, range defined by 16.40 on the upside and uh, around 15.50 on the downside as said uh, break above uh, 1600 the barrier that's uh, reinforced by 90 days uh, a simple moving average now turns the short-term focus uh, toward the up towards the upper levels with clearance of uh, 1624 33 and 40 uh, required uh, to confirm the uh, short-term bullish stance and open the uh, next uh, uh, dynamic barrier 1655 that marks uh, 55 days uh, simple moving average and uh, prevent uh, per uh, prevent uh, yellow metal from uh, uh, further dips and the possible test of uh, our critical uh, long-term support at uh, 16, 30, 20 zone. However, uh, not uh, much uh, seen so far of the broader uh, downtrend from uh, last year's uh, historical high of uh, uh, gold uh, posted in September 2011 at uh, 1920, $1,920 uh, per ounce as uh, the yellow metal remains in the downtrend. but. Uh, uh, Long-term support at 16, 30, 20 still uh, holds the downside. At this point, I would say a uh, firm break above uh, 1,700 uh, uh, would give some uh, more uh, positive uh, outlook and uh, bring more optimism in the uh, longer-term uh, picture of the yellow metal. With the short-term uh, one still being uh, quite positive uh, and looking for a further extension higher. A warning is uh, seen on the. Uh, a possible exhaustion of uh, of the peaks at uh, 1633 1640 uh, with the potential failure here to keep the yellow metals uh, price action uh, back within the range uh, within the narrowing range basically and the break of either side uh, uh, will be signal of uh, fresh direction as uh, uh, there is a sort of a triangle forming at uh, these points so basically it's already been uh, uh, broken so a uh, more uh, more optimistic uh, outlook is seen as uh, the yellow metal breaks above the triangle resistance and uh, uh, 16 uh, 24 33 and 40 will be our near term uh, focus a uh, situation on four hour charts is uh, uh, bulls in play but over extended conditions again uh, uh, warn of a possible uh, failure uh, on approach to 16 uh, 24 in favor of uh, as some uh, corrective action. It's important uh, to see the dips uh, contained uh, at or above uh, 1600 in order to keep the short-term bulls intact. Otherwise, uh, loss of uh, this uh, important support uh, would uh, again uh, weaken the short-term uh, structure. And final look to crude oil that uh, continues uh, to move uh, higher of its uh, recent uh, low posted on uh, two days ago at 8686 uh, with a gain of uh, $90 per uh, barrel uh, level seen uh, quite supportive yesterday's uh, stretch uh, was seen to 1945 so far with the pull immediate pullback being contained by uh, 20 days exponential moving average at uh, 89 above 89 I think this is what we mentioned in our uh, comments yesterday it's important uh, to hold above uh, 89 level as this marks also the previous high in order to maintain the short term uh, uh, positive tone of 86.85 with the break above uh, 90.45 to 
open way for further uh, extension and possible uh, retest of uh, 93.22 as uh, the four hour chart uh, studies are attempting above the midlines and keeping a uh, positive uh, short term uh, tone in uh, play. A larger picture south look is, has improved uh, with daily uh, indicators uh, well in the positive uh, territory and the uh, break above uh, 93 uh, 22 previous high reinforced by uh, 90 days uh, simple moving average required to resume the short term rally from uh, a low of uh, 77 uh, 27 posted on 28 of uh, June for possible uh, extension towards uh, 9677 that marks uh, uh, 200 days moving average ahead of uh, a very significant psychological support of $100 uh, per barrel. Uh, from fundamental uh, side, uh, uh, current uh, tensions uh, in the Middle East that are recently uh, escalating and threatening for a further escalation of uh, the into into more serious uh, conflict uh, keep the uh, oil price uh, well supported uh, uh, from the other side the uh, negative uh, uh, releases of uh, most of big countries uh, uh, PMIs and GDP is showing that uh, the major economies are still in the descending mode and the slowing down that uh, might be uh, the trigger for a further weakness of uh, crude oil price as uh, slowing down uh, slowing economies are also triggering the reduction in the demand uh, for the energies. Anyway, we'll be following uh, uh, this. I mean, these are the main uh, two, the two main uh, fundamental uh, drivers of the energy prices. Uh, uh, one is uh, conflict in the uh, Middle East and the uh, Persian Gulf. Uh, from the other side, uh, slowing economies uh, are seen as the uh, weak, weak point uh, for the, the crude oil, as it still remains uh, despite current uh, a corrective strong correction that uh, retraced over 50 percent of uh, 106 uh, 41 to 77 uh, 27 uh, still seen in the strong downtrend of its uh, recent uh, high at uh, 110.53 that marks a high of uh, year 2012 uh, that was all uh, for today Friday 27th of uh, July 2012 from our side uh, now it's your turn uh, with questions and answers please submit your questions if you have anything to ask or you need any, any other analysis. Okay, we have uh, Aussie dollar. Let's just see the chart. A quite positive outlook seen on the short term uh, charts as uh, the pair uh, uh, nearly fully retraced the latest uh, down move from 104.43 to 101.75 low of uh, two days ago uh, with the 104.39 since so far. So basically, a few ticks uh, ahead of. Uh, uh, reaching the previous uh, peak and the uh, possible extension of uh, the larger uptrend there uh, from uh, 95.79 low of uh, 1st of uh, June 2012. Uh, hourly structure is uh, positive but uh, quite extended. Uh, that uh, might be warning as uh, the stochastic is uh, already moving uh, towards the downside uh, and the, uh, all indicators are at their extreme points. Uh, warning of uh, a possible uh, corrective action levels to see on the that watch on the downside immediate uh, uh, support at uh, 103 uh, 104 pardon uh, round figure support ahead of uh, dynamic one 103.96 so it's uh, reinforced by uh, 20 days exponential moving average and the uh, 103.80 the uh, recent uh, consolidation low uh, just ahead of uh, 123.6 percent so I would say 104 uh, 104 103.80 is the initial uh, a support ahead of a more significant 38.2% uh, at uh, 10340 also previous uh, high of uh, yesterday intra yesterday's intraday high at uh, 10345 uh, i would say risk is seen on the loss of uh, 103 that will uh, sideline the near term bulls 
on four hour charts a more uh, optimistic uh, outlook as uh, studies firmly in the uh, positive uh, territory but uh, approaching a uh, overbought uh, zone uh, that uh, might coincide with the current uh, recent peak at uh, 104.43 and uh, uh, trigger some hesitation in the uh, possible action uh, towards uh, to, to clear 104.43. Uh, daily structure maintains positive uh, uh, tone, a bit uh, topish uh, situation here, seen ahead of uh, 104.43 with clear break here uh, required to resume and open uh, 104.73 and uh, 105. Uh, 0104.73 is the peak of uh, 27th of April and uh, 105 as a round figure resistance. Any further question please? Okay, it seems uh, no questions. Uh, in this case, I would like uh, to thank you all for uh, attending our uh, live uh, session. Uh, we are back regularly on uh, Monday, uh, which is 30th of uh, July 2012, uh, the same time at 7.00 GMT. I would like to inform you that I will be away as from Monday uh, for the next uh, two weeks and uh, we'll be back on uh, August 13th. Uh, my colleagues will take over uh, these uh, sessions. so. The session will continue every day at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, pardon, at 7 o'clock uh, GMT. Uh, just the other presenter will be uh, replacing me for uh, coming uh, for next uh, two weeks. I wish you all a nice uh, day today, uh, nice weekend and uh, nice holidays if anyone is uh, going uh, away. And uh, we'll be back, uh, we'll be together again at uh, 13th of August uh, 2012. Good luck.